Hi everybody, here I have Marshall Amberton 2 Bluetooth portable outdoor speaker. A friend asked me to have a look at it because the USB-C connector is broken and doesn't properly charge every time when you plug a USB-C cable. If you have been watching my YouTube channel before, you know that I like to tear down electronic devices, so I accepted the challenge and repaired this Bluetooth speaker. Let me show you how I did it. The first thing that you need to do is to remove the rubber that's around the speaker. Uh, you can do this with your bare hands. And although I was told this is Amberton 2 and I said it at the beginning of the video, I realized it's actually the older model, the first Amberton. However, both models look very similar. In order to completely disassemble this Bluetooth speaker, several screwdrivers are needed. A Torx 8 screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver and a flat screwdriver. After removing the rubber enclosure, I removed the 8 screws that were holding the top panel. Of the speaker. There are plastic side panels that are covering the loudspeakers on this Bluetooth speaker and clips are holding them to the main chassis of the speaker so I used a flat screwdriver and carefully remove each of these side panels. I proceed with the removal of the loudspeakers. I had to change the bits on my screwdriver. I'm using a wall stick by the way. However, it was not strong enough for this purpose. So I also use some uh, additional screwdrivers um, so that I can more quickly disassemble the Bluetooth speaker. Using the magic of video editing, I can speed up things. Um, so it's a bit annoying uh, this whole disassembly procedure, but you have to pay attention and to take your time when you are unscrewing all these uh, screws. Now finally I have access to the printed circuit board. As you can see it's a blue printed circuit board and there are connectors uh, in which um, a few cables go in. I'll use this opportunity to disconnect them. So I'm going to disconnect the battery and the cable that goes to the USB-C connector. The USB-C connector is actually on another very very small uh, blue printed circuit board and two screws are holding it uh, to the speaker so I'm going to remove these screws and after that there are two more screws that I'm going to remove so that I can um, get the small blue printed circuit board out of the plastic enclosure. After finding the dedicated printed circuit board with the USB-C connector, some soldering skills are needed to uh, strengthen and repair all the soldering joints. So here we are on my soldering desk. If you're curious about my setup, I have a really good Weller soldering iron, but uh, my hot air station is a cheap Chinese one, so it's nothing special. And I also have a fume extractor to keep the dangerous fumes out of my face. This is an open source hardware fume extractor that I designed. It's called Anavi Fume Extractor, and you can actually purchase it as a do-it-yourself kit, assemble it and use it on your soldering desk. After uh, resoldering all the joints of the USB BC connector it is very steadily assembled on the uh, printed circuit board so I have to solder back again the two wires uh, that connect this small printed circuit board with the USB-C connector to the main printed circuit board in the Bluetooth speaker. Before we put all the printed circuit boards back together let's verify and test that we have 5 volts coming out of the USB-C port. It is also important to know that as you can see out of all the pins available on the USB-C connector only two are used the positive and the negative wire which are red and uh, black. So this means that the USB-C port on the Marshall Amberton speaker is used just for charging the battery. So my test with the multimeter shows that the USB-C connector is properly working. We are getting 5 volts out of it, which means I can proceed with putting back together everything. The repair is successful, but I still have to assemble back the Bluetooth speaker. The assembly process is basically the same steps that we have already seen at the beginning of the video in reverse order. 
Put back the blue printed circuit board with the soldered USB-C port inside the plastic enclosure. Use the two screws to hold it in it. After that, uh, put the whole plastic enclosure to the main chassis of the speaker. Use the two different screws to hold it uh, to the chassis. The assembly is far more annoying and not exciting at all, but I have to do it. Uh, on top of that, it's more challenging because you can always make a mistake by putting the wrong screw in the wrong place. Let's use the unbelievable magic of video editing and fast forward to the end of the assembly process. I'm putting back gently the side panels and finally the rubber. I had to slightly cut the rubber around the USB-C connector because over the time the rubber is getting old and it was preventing the USB-C uh, port to be easily accessible by various cables. So I slightly cut around the rubber uh, and now I can very easily plug a USB-C cable in it. Putting back everything together is far more complicating than disassembling it, but I managed to do it and here we have the repaired speaker. I used the Raspberry Pi USB-C power supply to try it out. As soon as I plugged it, the LED indicating the battery started blinking up and down, which means it's charging. I also paired the speaker with my phone and played a few songs to make sure it's properly working. Thank you very much for watching this video, I hope it was useful. At the end, I would like to wrap it up with a few conclusions. I have to say that this Marshall Amberton 2 Bluetooth speaker looks really cool, the sound is good, however, um, I didn't like how it is made. There are a lot of metal screws that go into the plastic parts of the speaker. Um, this is not uh, something that's made to be repaired on many occasions, it's not made to last long. So keep that in mind uh, when you are purchasing this. Uh, actually this is quite expensive Bluetooth speaker and I expected more from the internal components of it. Thank you very much for watching this video, stay tuned for new videos. Uh, if you like this type of content hit the like button and subscribe. See you soon!